We've been living in a crisis since March. A lot of people have lost their jobs, some have had to take pay cuts, and others have even had to close their businesses. Our social freedoms have really been restricted. We've not been free to see our friends and family the way we usually would. And as believers, we have not had the freedom to congregate physically as we normally would. It's been a really tough time for most people and our faith as Christians has really been tested. So how do we respond to a crisis as Christians? The natural response is to feel depressed, to feel a sense of mourning and to go into hibernation. But when we read the book of Acts, we see a completely different response. In Acts 16, we read the story of Paul and Silas and how after they angered the mob, they were publicly beaten, humiliated, and thrown into prison. While they were in prison, in the middle of the night, they were praising and worshiping God. Suddenly, there was a violent earthquake. The prison doors flew open and their chains were loosened. They chose to worship God in the midst of a crisis. We too can make a decision to praise God even in this difficult time that we are going through. We as Christians have to decide to feed ourselves and to mature at this time. James 1 tells us that in life we will face trials and trials produce perseverance and maturity. We will definitely face trials. But praise God that God is good, God is love. He has a plan and a purpose for us. So let us choose to worship Him during these trials. Amen. To pursue peace with all people and holiness without which no one will see the Lord. Looking carefully lest anyone fall short of the grace of God, lest the root of bitterness springing up cause trouble. Now some of us may have a bit more time on our hands and for reasons known to ourselves um, we choose not to enjoy the moments we have neither are we able to look forward with with hope uh, we instead are choosing uh, to look backwards uh, because there's so much of it uh, back there and when we look backwards too we're choosing to look at hurts and people that hurt us rather than uh, good and beautiful things that happened to us and easily we are being trapped by bitterness in in genesis 4 god warns cain about his anger telling him that sin was at the door and was desiring him a reminder to us too um, that in the same way that god told cain that he could master that sin that we too can master that sin and in the same in in a similar vein uh, we are being warned again that 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 sin that anger bitterness is sin and that it can and wants to have us but with god we can we can master it uh, romans romans uh, 7 verse 24 and 25 tells us that we can and indeed are victorious over sin by saying that who will deliver me from this body of death i thank god through jesus christ our lord and i close that through jesus christ we can be at peace with all people and that we can walk in grace that rules over sin including that of bitterness. Amen.